USB docks or hubs, which one do you need? So in this video, we'll cover which one are you gonna likely need. Now, a lot is gonna depend on yourself, but let's go and that depends. Let's go and look at what we've got. So working from here, now, unpowered dock, we're not gonna be covering these. Very basic, you plug that into your computer, be it a laptop or a, or a desktop, and expand your USBs. What we wanna do is concentrate, and I'll move that out there, concentrate on some of the power ones. Same with this, as you see, some USB ports there. Some of them you can get it where you can plug in your power, your laptop power, so if it's a USB-C, that would go technically in that. So that would, you plug your power into there, that plugs into your laptop, that would give your laptop some power, and you could have the facilities of using these, or obviously that would be used. So you've got a couple of USBs, threes, and a couple of A's, and you've got a HDMI. Now that HDMI won't give you an additional HDMI, if I can pull that in, that won't give you an additional HDMI socket if your computer hasn't got, hasn't got that capacity. So if you've got a laptop and it will allow the, the laptop screen and an additional one from the HDMI, which is say built in, and you plug that in, it won't give you an additional HDMI, so you can't get two HDMIs unless your computer has that those relevant chipsets. So potentially, if you've got a, like the Mac Mini, where if it's just the one where it can drive two displays, so you could plug that in there and use this as an extension, but it would be using one of those two displays. So this is not, a way of getting an additional display. It's just an extension lead for one. Uh, useful, because again, you can plug in your keyboards, mouse and stuff like that, plug in that display, plug in your laptop, and then you're all set to go. So that, that, that's fairly convenient. Powered hubs, again, that wasn't powered, and you wouldn't necessarily put more than your USB bus could take. So without boring you too much, a USB bus, Normally on your laptop, you may have two, one on your left and one in your right. Your desktop, uh, your, your tower, the front of the tower would be using one bus on the USB on your motherboard and the back connections would be using the uh, second one. So your USB bus has, for want of a better word, a number of seats. So if we say 500 and, you, and that draws power. So every time you plug something into a dock which is plugged in it draws power from that device hence we recommend you definitely want a powered one because if you imagine a keyboard uh, depending on what keyboard you got that's going to be drawing power and your mouse will draw in power and if you put a webcam or a stream deck like this that'll want power and sometimes you can get glitching or device failure or needing to re uh, reconnect because there isn't enough power to drive that device so going back to the bus once it's full, it goes around your motherboard and does a trip and obviously drop it off. So your keyboard might be 25, uh, taking 25 seats. Your mouse might take 25 seats. Your webcam might take 300 seats, potentially if it's HD, 4K, considerably more. All of those are drawing power from your US. You're limited to what this bus can move around. So just adding loads of these doesn't necessarily increase the connectivity as far as your computer is concerned but what would be useful if you add something like a thunderbolt or the latest usbs connections this is an old one you plug into that this is inside there's chips in here that adds more functionality so it adds the functionality of headphones it adds the functionality of, in this one uh, sata drives hdmi and stuff like that this one in particular doesn't necessarily add any more displays off the functionality of displays. It just is an easy way of connecting those cables to your devices. Now, if you want additional displays, you probably want something like this dock. Again, you can get docks in all kinds of flavors, but you're probably gonna want this if you wanna drive displays. So if I jump to the screen, now I've got a dock here. I'll show you on here, I think I can. Yep, so here. Got a little dock here. So if I go to this shot here, there's a wide shot just there. You probably can't see it behind the mic. But I've got this and it gives me additional Thunderbolt bolts. So I plug that into the computer and it's given me some additional Thunderbolts there. 
that's what this dock does now the cal digit this is the newer version again any links to the stuff i'm covering i'll leave below and that can take you to likes our amazon other sites and stuff like that where you can find out more about the products but this cal digits unlike the older one this will give you some sd cards headphones and you've got display ports so you can drive some of your devices there but again it won't add any more functional out oh, more displays than what your computer can currently drive it's just an easy way of connecting them to that one uh the wave link i've got here which is this one it has if i go to the top down this is what makes it a bit different it has and that's what you'll be looking for it has something called display link now you don't necessarily need a dock to get display link because i'm currently if i go back to this shot here currently the mac mini there can only drive two monitors as you can see i've got two monitors three monitors so i'm actually driving three and that's because i'm using this device here from StarTech, which has a display link so that plugs into the usb it's only uh, 1080 which is fine it's big enough to drive the teleprompter in front and that gives me the additional display so where if you speak to anybody who's got an m1 they'll say or the m2 the basic m's they'll say you can only drive two monitors well that's why i need that additional device there that obviously uses a port this does the same thing this display link and if i show you the port there again i would plug it from the thunderbolt or the usb into there that will give me two displays as opposed to the one i will get two so i don't need that uh, that little one the StarTech plugged in and i get some additional ports here usb c's some usb 3s another usb and the headphones so that on the desk if i go there you'll see now you'll see there's four ports there it doesn't give me four displays it gives me two additional displays uh, it's my choice they can either be uh, hdmi two hdmis two display ports or a mixture of both now if you notice that's again this is important you'll see display ports on the back of these but i have display link technology in there which is what's given me those additional functionalities of displaying two more monitors. So whatever dock you go for, again, there's a few out there, different flavors. If I flip back to the screen again, got the Cal digits, the way, uh, again, they come in a different, uh, different sets of flavors, the wave link. That's the one where I've got for the, uh, displays. But again, if you are looking for a lot more USBs, there's things like that. So a lot depends on what you want from your dock. I, I was trying to avoid that. It depends, but unfortunately it does depend. If you were having, if this was a desktop PC, obviously if I wanted more display, uh, I would add a graphics card like that. And you'll see I have the ports running there. And if I wanted more USB, so this, if I was in a tower, uh, tower situation, I would, or this is what I've got. I'd put that in there. That would give me some more USB and some USB C's hidden there. I don't want to get my fingers all over this. So that's how it, I would grow for a tower. Obviously, a laptop uh, generally are limited on how you can expand them, mostly through an external dock. And that's where whatever you need you need to make sure either your computer has the capability to drive it through an additional port here or the chipsets inside here will do the job for you so that's why if i just slightly off topic what would be nice to know is what you plan to use your dock for so here you'll see a sound interface that would normally get plugged into either a usb or into your dock so you could tell uh yeah, your device, this is an audio interface, plug in your microphone in there, and the chipsets in here basically handles all the stuff the microphone needs to do and sends it digitally to your computer. Now, hopefully down the road, as years as the years pass, we'll probably find we've got docks with capture cards in there. 
because I think more and more of us wants our video captured. So hopefully, as well as the USB uh, C, we might get some HDMI capture card, or it'll be the camera manufacturers making it so the the HDMI full fat signal comes out via USB C. So let us know in the description what you plan to do with your new dock what's the, what supports needed for is it audio is it video and do give us a thumbs up and don't forget to tap subscribe and i'll see you in the next video